the butternut. Hello everyone and welcome to MCV Taste Love. My name is Zach Kellerman and today I'm going to show you a super easy recipe to make a butternut soup. So when I was in university always and it became winter, this was my go-to. I would make a lot of soups in the beginning, freeze them up and then just use them as I needed it. So it's so easy, it's cheap and so yummy in the winter time. So, for our butternut soup, what do we need? Some butternut. For some flavor, I'm going to use some red onion and some garlic, a little bit of butter. Then we have some vegetable stock. A little secret ingredient one of my friends taught me, butternut soup is a little bit of masala to put in it. So, let's start off with the vegetables. The red onion, just chop it roughly. Again, just roughly. So now for our butternut. Make sure you get most of the green part off, so it might make a bitterness in it. So I'm gonna make some cubes. Again, it's all going to be blitzed together, so. Vegetables, ready. Butternut in fine, uh, small pieces, and the onion sliced up, and the garlic also just chopped finely. Now we can start cooking. First of all, we're going to cook the butternut. Watch out to not burn. When the butternut is cooked all through or boiled through and a bit softer, we can take them out of the water. If they aren't completely, it's okay. They're going to cook a little bit more in the stock as well. It's just a little bit of a pre-boil at this point. Now we can start with the base of this soup. The red onions and the garlic can go into the oil and then just saute it for like two to three minutes till it's translucent and flavorful. Quite a good and healthy helping of butter in there. Just let it melt. And when the butter is melted, we're going to go back in with the butternut. We don't want too much water in it, so any, give it a little mix up. Two stock cubes, depending how much you want and then we can fill it with water. So for now, we just need to let it cook through and the stock cubes dissolve. The stock cube already is going to be salty, so just keep that in mind. Some pepper, and then an ingredient that just brings it all together. Just give it some time so that all the flavor is merry. We'll take most of the pieces first in. So I'm going to reserve a little bit of the liquid. So just take a little bit. There you can see and you can see it's a nice soupy consistency. That texture I think is fine, I think the flavor is fine. So now it's ready to heat up a little bit again and serve.
And there we have it, our butternut and masala soup. The combination you didn't know you needed. And as always, the proof is in the taste. Let's try it. Have another bit. Mm. That is really yummy. And it's one of my favorite combinations butternut and masala, something that pairs so well together, especially in a soup. This is perfect for any winter's night, or even a summer actually. It's yummy enough to eat soup in the summer. This can pair very nicely with some bread, always um, good with soup, trying to watch our carbs during quarantine, but uh, bread would be great with here. Yeah, um, even something that would go very good with this is to sprinkle some crispy bacon over it. Bacon goes very nice with these flavors. Um, some basil would be nice, and of course some cream, if you'd like. <laughs>